Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about Project Cars 2 and the Z1 dashboard version 416 and how you can communicate between the two using Project Cars 2 UDP uh, stream. So we're going to start with the uh, Z1 dashboard. Uh, as you can see, I have the dashboard here open and Project Cars open. Uh, and the Z1 dashboard is in its waiting for connection state. So the first thing to do is go to the settings, click on network, and make sure that under this tab you have Project Cars 2 UDP selected and this checkbox is checked. Uh, if either of those two uh, have not been done, then the dashboard will not connect with Project Cars 2. So that should be the first thing you check. Uh, then click OK. Uh, now back over here in Project Cars 2, I'm going to click on the uh, Options tab and then the System Settings. And within here, I have uh, three settings. Uh, the Shared Memory, UDP Frequency, and UDP Protocol version. For our purposes, the Shared Memory uh, makes no difference. You can leave it on or off depending on what other applications you may have that might need Shared Memory. So the UDP Protocol version, you want this to be Project Cars 2. And the frequency obviously cannot be off. Um, can be 1 all the way up through 9. So 1 is actually the fastest and 9 is the slowest. So if you have this set at 1, uh, the sim will send out data as quickly as it can. And if you have it set to 9, that data will be sent out much more slowly. Uh, ideally you want to go at 1. Uh, this gives you the most fidelity and if you're going to use the dashboard to record your telemetry and then view that later in the analyzer, uh, one will give you um, the best results. Uh, the downside to one is that you may overwhelm your network with too much data and the Z1 dashboard may actually end up being uh, a few seconds behind what's happening in the sim. So uh, if you find that happening, you might want to change this to say a three or a four uh, and see how that works for your system. So I'm going to go back and to my quick play tab. And you'll notice that the Z1 dashboard here has uh, recognized that Project Cars 2 has started. Um, there's no sim, I'm sorry, there's no track or car yet because I haven't selected one. Uh, one more thing I want to talk about in the dashboard, if I go to the settings again, is this PC2 timeout. Uh, right now it's, sec it's set to 60, which is 60 seconds. Um, this is how long the dashboard will wait before it thinks that Project Cars 2 has uh, stopped. Um, when Project Cars 2 uh, exits, uh, it just stops sending out UDP data. It doesn't say that it's exited. And this is the same for when it pauses. If you go to a different application like the dashboard, the sim will pause. Uh, if you pause it in sim, it will pause. And if any of these things, uh, any of those pauses happen, it just stops sending out data. So for the dashboard to know, that the uh, sim is actually exited, it has to not receive data for this amount of time, in this case 60 seconds. Uh, if you find you need more time to do things outside of the sim, you could uh, add this to say 120 seconds or 180 seconds, whatever you need. Uh, don't go too small. If you put 10 seconds every time you do anything outside of the sim, the dashboard will think that you've actually quit the sim and it will start over again when it goes back uh, and you don't want that. And you can see now, actually, we've been outside of the sim for a while. So the sim has been paused, and the dashboard thinks that it actually quit. OK, so now I'm back in Quick Play, um, and the dashboard is reconnected again. I'm just going to do a quick uh, custom race with these settings. Uh, start. Now, it's important that you start the dashboard first, and then start Project Cars 2. Uh, if you have, um, if you start Project Cars 2 and then the dashboard, you might miss some information. Uh, this is because when Project Cars 2 starts up and you've selected the track and the car and you're starting to load the circuit, that is when the sim will send out certain information such as the circuit you're using, um, the car you're using, your name, the name of the competitors, and things like that. If I had started the sim uh, and waited until now, to start the dashboard, a lot of 
lot of that information might be missed. Uh, you might never actually get through. So you can see now that the uh, dashboard knows that uh, who I am, the car I'm in, the track I'm at, uh, it has a list of all my competitors. And now coming back here to uh, the sim and drive the uh, go, go, go. sim is running and the, dash and the dashboard knows that I'm on track and uh, shows the equipment and stuff like that. I'm actually going to exit out of that because I'm not actually near the steering wheel at, the most, at this time. So uh, I hope this has been a useful video uh, and explained the, uh, how to connect um, Project Cars 2 using a UDP stream to the Z1 dashboard. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, we will have more videos about the Z1 dashboard and the Z1 analyzer coming soon.